the Faculty Center for Teaching and Learning, à la carte. Hey, Emily, what are you up to? I'm reviewing these multiple choice assessments that my students took. They didn't do so hot. I know that they're much smarter than this. I feel like these multiple choice standardized tests just can't fully capture how talented they are. Right, have you tried using ePortfolios? Well, I could really use a tool to work with each of my students since in a customized way that would showcase his or her unique talents. So an ePortfolio can give you an insight into an individual's uh, mind and capabilities through evaluating a variety of artifacts. It's not just pen and paper, it's uh, graphics and stories and journals, uh, multimedia, it's all these things. It's, it's a view into an individual's multiple intelligences. Oh, well that sounds pretty interesting. I thought they were just for getting a job. Oh, it's that and more. Think about the possibilities. A collection of academic work, uh, it can provide a powerful and comprehensive digital resume. It can highlight those multiple intelligences, you know, a student as a linguist, as a, an artist, a musician, a scientist, uh, an athlete, or a community activist. It shows them as a, a reflective learner, a self-learner, or a, co a cooperative learner. Yeah, but what about those students who are new to college and they feel like they don't really have that much experience or artifacts to show yet? Yeah, that's where the longitudinal view becomes very powerful and the sooner you start, the better. Students can paint this picture of growth and progress and continuity over time. It's, they collect their work, they select the artifacts that are you know, important, and then they reflect upon their learning. Uh, it presents a profile of accomplishments based on the evidence that they submit. Even if they're just getting their feet wet freshman year, they can start it off by making an About Me page maybe upload a project or two, and then continue to build throughout their academic career and reflect on their growth. Exactly. It makes learning visible. I wish I had one of those when I was in college. Maybe I'll start one. Hi, I'm Emily Seibert. I coordinate and teach the Critical Inquiry and Junior Seminar Program at Mercy College. Hi, I'm Naja, and I'm a Mercy College alum. Hello, my name is Elena Almeida and I'm a junior at Mercy College. I can say that since I've adopted ePortfolio into my curriculum, it's added a whole new dimension to the teaching and learning experience. It helped me organize my ideas, especially in the classroom, and it also helped me speak out about important topics such as standardized exams. I did my first ePortfolio in my junior seminar class. I was able to use my interests to share that with everyone else and still learn the skills that I needed academically. I found that student reflection becomes more meaningful when they're able to archive and display their work in more creative ways in an ePortfolio. It helped me to practice my writing skills more and media skills and to also just voice my opinion on a matter that's very important to me and that's the education of this country. I love empowering my students by enabling them to create their own ePortfolios. ePortfolio helped me from being a student to becoming a professional. When I would present in class, it would help me take in constructive criticism and see it in a more positive light so I can apply it to my work and benefit from it. Today, I am an academic advisor. I definitely encourage students to use ePortfolio because they do have the opportunity to take their interests and use it as an academic tool to promote themselves and in increase their skills in writing and presenting. We all know that employers seek well-rounded employees. So I think a rich, full-bodied, dynamic ePortfolio trumps a flat resume any day. I would recommend that students do create ePortfolios because no matter what profession you're going into, you tell the employer about this, it creates conversation, they can see more of your personality, and it may help you get a job. I applied for an internship and I was able to pull up the ePortfolio and I actually did get hired as a blogger. Empower yourself and your students. Learn about ePortfolios. The Faculty Center is here to support you. Send us an email.